All right, first person that tells me where we are this morning wins a prize. And while you are working on that, I'll work on my Tom Jones. The old hometown looks the same as a step down. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's Tom and Elvis together. Speaking of Tom and Elvis together. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mal Nation. <laughs> it's not necessarily Tom and Elvis. No. But it's Jim and Mal, live and direct. Where are we, you guys? You, ah, someone said Indio. So you're probably right. Outdoor Resorts Indio. You win the prize. Yeah, you win the prize. Um, just a beautiful park. We're actually gonna jump in uh, in our rental car here and take a look around the park. We've got a few things to show you, but we've got a great surprise. Stay with us uh, for today's show because we are gonna show you a great 2008. Uh, we're, it's gonna be kind of a sneak peek. We're not gonna show it all to you. Uh, my man Richard Lawrence down there uh, in sunny central Florida. Uh, and our videographer John is watching who just helped us uh, find a feature on our phone. Big thanks to John. Thanks, John. Uh, yes, Ron, you won Coach 1375. You are the winner of a 4x6 photo of the not too, not completed yet Coach 1375. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, read the fine print. Read the think fine on print. your feet, Val. Well, th thank you, thank you. Um, Coach 1148. 1148. New consignment? New consignment. Yeah, just picked it up a couple days ago, Mel, and uh, yeah. This is uh, an exciting one to show you. So we're gonna go through the coach and then stick with us because we're gonna jump in the car, drive a little bit around. Uh, Jim's gonna show us uh, a new lot to one of our Marathon family. And uh, uh, yeah, so let me flip it around here and we can take a look at coach 1148. Beautiful coach, 08. Again, uh, one owner. I think under 60,000 miles. Yeah, this is really, uh, this is something. Headlight upgrade. That's, that's something I'm going to point out. This coach right here, you guys, is one of those coaches. We talk about it a lot on Marathon Mondays. This is one of those pre-owned coaches that the colors are fantastic. They do not, it doesn't age itself. Brian's watching from Harbor, Ohio. All right, take a look at the colors. Of coach 1148. Just a beautiful coach. Triple slide, you guys. Triple slide 1148, great floor plan. Jim got a call and that's what we're doing down here. We are taking care of people. And uh, so I tell you what, I'm gonna let him take that call. I'm gonna show you, it also has the upgrade to the headlights. So the paint job looks fantastic and looks like a real modern contemporary marathon. And it's got the headlight update. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm not gonna show all of it to you because we just picked this coach up. We have not PDI'd it. We have not inspected it. So I just want you to get a good idea of what is to come. Now, if you're looking to get into a coach, this is a 2008, under 65,000 miles, I think Jim said. Triple slide. H3. It's a great floor plan, too. With inventory being what it is right now in the market, you guys, if you're looking to get into a coach, this is the one. So please reach out to me. M-A-L-W, MalW at MarathonCoach.com. This could be yours. that booth dinette that's nice another thing that stood out to me this morning is the natural light coming from this over here there's not a curio on this side 
that gray. So I'm not gonna show you all the features. We're just gonna kind of walk through it here. It's got a large closet in the back. Sheridan Young, my man. And I saw Brad Barnes was watching. Brad, good morning to you guys. I don't want to show you too much. I'm not going to open any doors or anything because we're going to do a complete reveal of this coach. But... It's available right now. Absolutely beautiful. Jim, I was just telling everybody I'm not going to show them everything, but I wanted them to get a good idea of this coach. 1148 is available. Brian, Brian Zinkham points out it's a beautiful interior, and it really is. And, and I think this, just walking through it, seeing the exterior, seeing the interior, I think you guys get a good idea that the colors in here uh, are kind of a timeless color. It's 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 not dated. Look at the ceiling. Let me get a good shot. We just had the ceiling cleaned. Michael over in Huntington Beach. Yeah, I really think you could see a, a bus like this being built today. Yes. Now, and uh, it'd be very contemporary, very, uh, very with it. Uh, Boy, the beautiful curvature and all the cabinets and the workmanship of these years of coaches are just gorgeous. I mean, that's a lot of hand-built, um, you know, production you're seeing there, and it's just beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, it's got the, the large closet in the rear. It's got a closet. Oh, I'm going to show you the closet. You know what? Let's just show. Take a look at this. On the driver's side, it's got a really nice closet. And it's a full closet. If I get in here, you can look across to the water closet. Really nice flooring, really nice ceiling. This is one of those coaches. There's a washer dryer behind that door right there. Full shower, residential Maytag refrigerator, booth dinette, jackknifing sofa, recliner on the curbside. This is kind of a cool feature. Take a look at that. So those are two ottomans. And then Jim's going to illustrate. You take the cocktail table off. You can flip those over if you want to, but they've got storage inside. But it's got a cocktail table, basically, that matches all the cabinetry in here. That's really cool. So if you want to set food or glasses, uh, glassware on there, it's fantastic. It's really smart. Jim, I've never seen that with Ottomans. Is that something that we used to do? Yeah, and apparently, you know, this is just uh, uh, something we have done in the past. And, and yeah, you rarely see it, but it it's, uh, sure works. Sure does. Just a really nice triple slide, 2008, low mileage, H3. Take a look at the cockpit. I want you to see this is a cockpit that we would build today in 2022. Look at the leather in the driver's seat. Copilot is exactly the same. You've got this dark gray leather on the dash with carbon fiber accents all throughout the dash. Just a really, really cool coach, man. Really cool coach. There's the original owner's manual. Always like to see owners keeping all the documentation together. I Just like a carbon fiber hands. Yeah, I like the carbon fiber too. It's got a really nice touch. This coach, like I told you, is not dated. And then, I'm not going to show you right now, but there are slide-outs in Bay 1 and Bay 2. Bay 1 has a refrigerator, a little uh, Norcold in the, uh, the slide-out, but they're both power slide-outs. And then, of course, as you see over there, there's the entertainment bay 
in bay four on the curbside. Absolutely beautiful. All right, stay with us, guys. We are going to hop in the truck. I'm going to show you how we do this. This steady cam. This steady cam really is the key. We're going to go for a little drive. Well, your truck is newer than mine, Mel. Yeah, this is a. This is a really nice truck. All right. Is it part of the criteria to have a Ram to have a? a yes. Yeah, that that's, that's part like of the that. sales force. Yeah. It's part. It's part of the criteria. Is you gotta have matching <laughs> trucks. Did you sell that? Not yet. The day is young. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> uh, there you go. There was my Ram right there. Yeah. So Jim, tell us. Uh, we spend a lot of time on Marathon Mondays over at uh, Motor Coach Country Club. And uh, we've been over to Outdoor Resorts Indio, where we are right now, here on Avenue 48 in Indio, in the desert. Tell us a little bit about this park. You've been coming, ah, oh, there's a nice little setup right there. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's nice. Tell us, uh, tell us about this park, Jim. Well, this was, uh, you know, we've gone over this once before, probably a year ago or so, Mel, maybe longer, that this was the first Class A motorhome park in the United States. Uh, built in the early 90s and before anything else was out here on Avenue 48th in Indio um, this park uh, this park was 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 started and then Mr. Shellhorn the owner of Marathon bought this park and put the clubhouse in and finished all the other phases so phase one and two were in but there was no clubhouse originally in the in the early 90s so it's developed into quite a park and over the last few years, they're now allowing them to build out the enclosed casitas. Uh, this is a very active park with all kinds of uh, activities, you know, pickleball and golf and tennis and, and uh, you know, just a big pool, big community center. Uh, this, is, this is an active park. And if you want to come and, and have a lot of fun, ORI is, uh, is a great place to go. Super people all kinds of mixture of coaches in here lots of marathons uh, a lot is, of marathons uh, in this park yeah this is a great park well and uh, I think I said this um, oh a couple weeks ago Jim but the, the uh, when we were doing our virtual wine event uh, the community here at outdoor resorts Indio is unlike any RV park I've ever been in uh, you know, we talk a lot about family and we talk a lot about the closeness and taking care of each other in your community. Uh, I think it is second to none here at ORI. Um, yeah, I, I totally believe that. It, it's, uh, there's just, there's uh, so many activities that it ties everybody together and there's something for everybody here. So, uh, you just, you have your, your, your crew that loves to hike and, uh, you've got, You've got all the bike bike riders, the motorcycle riders, the golfers, uh, Mr. McCracken. There's Mr. McCracken's lot, <laughs> uh, and and there's just a, a sense of community uh, here that is is really great. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, and, and they have bocce ball, you know. And, yeah, and yeah. They there, have uh, just a really a lot of active members. There is a lot going on in this park, and um, if you've if you've never been to to any of the parks down here in Indio, this is one I'd like you to consider renting a lot at, uh, whether it be for a few days or a week or longer. Uh, if you are if you're looking to get into uh, experiencing a, a really great community, this park is the one. Nice casita right there, Mel. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Here's their bocce ball. We're going to do an end of the year party here on the 26th. We're going to have a live band from LA at the back of that bocce ball court. And we're going to have 400 to 500 people out here. It's going to be a large event. Marathon's going to sponsor an end of the year going away type party. Well, and let's not just pass over that comment. You know, um, there's tennis. 
lots of tennis, lots of, we heard the pickleball going on over there. But Jim, you bring up a point that I want to highlight. Uh, Marathon as a company is very, very invested uh, in the in the desert down here. Not just today, but has been for decades. And it's true. a big thanks to uh, our, our owner, our leadership. Um, they, the commitment continues down here. We are, it's gonna be a big event at the end of this month where we are sponsoring a huge party for all the members here at Outdoor Resorts Indio or ORI. Here's a good shot of the front. This beautiful, look at how big the clubhouse is. Yeah. And it's vast. I mean, that's just the front of it. Yeah, the breezeway is really cool. And and our friend, Mr. McCracken, set up the uh, set up the video that's continually running in the breezeway there. That's big right. screen TV is just absolutely beautiful and it's showing off all the activities and the owners in here and the different sports and different things that they do and it, it shows off the uh, the people that sponsor events uh, the different companies there it is right there up on the wall so you can come and sit down and and just enjoy all the different uh, activities that go on here on video which is great little background music yeah that's really nice and and uh this is um this park sure is beautiful too. There's a lot of attention that's paid to the grounds. There's another build out going on with Larry and Gwen there. Yes, and look Sherry's, at that. Sherry's Marathon bus right there that walked by us a little while ago. Is that the flying lady coach? You wanna drive by Jack's lot, Jack I, and Lois? Yeah, lot. Jim, that's something you and I were talking about earlier. Um, someone just asked a question, if, if Marathon offers warranties on pre-owned coaches, Absolutely, the answer is yes. On um, ooh, burgers on the patio mm -hmm. Sunday. All right, really, let me not miss that. Um, yes, on marathon, all marathon coaches that are owned and traded into marathon, uh, we do a full inspection. We work off that inspection, and then to show you how serious we are about making sure that you're successful in your purchase, we put at least a six month, we put a six month warranty on those coaches that are owned, um, that are owned by Marathon. There's Jack's lot, his new lot I should say. Well, he might be coming out the door. Hey Jack. Good morning. We're live on Facebook. We've got we've got a bunch of people. Tell us about your new lot. We just drove one to drive by and and say congratulations and. Well, thank you. We're happy for you and and uh, we're just kind of driving around outdoor resorts and showing everybody how beautiful this park is. Yeah. Well, that sounds great, and we're very happy with our lot. Jack, how long have you been coming down to ORI here in Indio? About. Two thousand and one. Oh. So you're over 20 years in the desert at this park. Yes. Rented a couple of years and bought in 05. Fantastic. Well, we were just over at your previous lot and we thought, hey, let's drive over and see that beautiful coach uh, on uh, on your new lot. Sounds great. Yeah. That's great. It does. It really does. Well, we're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to have a little cowboy barbecue outside of town on a ranch. Jack and Lois are going to join us and... Uh, uh, looking forward to uh, having a great time. And where am I supposed to be at what time? Yeah. Four o'clock right here at the parking lot. We're going to load up in a Prevo, Prevo okay. tour bus and all go out together. At what time? Four o'clock. Four o'clock right out here. Okay. And they tell me I'm going to learn how to rope. Yeah. We're gonna... <laughs> well, I'm going to watch. You watch. You watch, Jack. <laughs> okay. <take> Thanks, care. <laughs> brother. <laughs> I tell you what. I'm glad we ran into him, and I'm glad that a lot of you on Marathon Mondays got to uh, meet Jack Cook. He is a, a class act. He's a legend. He is. He's. I think that's his fifth marathon right there, that new one that they uh, they built uh, a year and a half ago, I believe. And that, I'll tell you what, if you've taken a tour at Marathon over the last year and a half, you may have seen their paint panel out in our paint department. They integrated wood grain into 
into that uh, paint job, and it's just beautiful. There's a beautiful marathon yeah, right Walter there. Yeah, Walter and Kelly just, just pulled that. on their new lot with their new, uh, to them, 08 XL2 double slide bus that uh, has been Walter's dream and uh, finally made it made it come true. So, uh, and that was just up at Marathon, wasn't it? Yes, uh, met them years ago and been talking to them about finding a bus for years. We found the right one and uh, got it ready for them and delivered it down here to the desert and they flew in and uh, are just elated. So, Well, congratulations to uh, Walter and his wife because that's that's a beautiful coach. I, I've seen that a couple of times up at Marathon. That red Porsche over there. What is it? Is that a 911? You know, this, oh, this little car. area, we just were in that little roundabout there. There's, there's another one. That's Warren's bus. He bought that new. This, this area we just left is called Little Bethlehem. And we're entering, this is phase one. We're entering this area is nicknamed the Redneck Riviera. So that's where we're heading. The Redneck Riviera. Now, why is that area now, called last, Little, Little Bethlehem? Last night, Jill and I were at a barbecue right there at Cowboy Bob's lot. Oh, Cowboy Bob. Bob and Marsh's. What a great Whoa. evening we had. I'm going to tell you right now, if if I, if I my name is Bob, I want a nickname like Cowboy, Cowboy Bob. Cowboy Bob, yep. You got to earn a nickname so, like that. See the signs? Yes. See that oh, sign? Redneck Riviera Drive. Yeah, see that. that's where that's where we are, folks. Redneck Riviera. Yeah. And I know that on the other side, over by Mr. McCracken's, there's Wall Street. The Wall Street, right? I've seen that. Yeah, these these parks all get nicknames. You know, this they used to call this uh, it's outdoor resorts, but they called it outdo resorts for many <laughs> years. <laughs> well. I think this video to everyone around the United States that's watching uh, and to internationally too, uh, if you are wondering about, if you're wondering about what's going on in the desert and should I go to out Outdoor Resorts Indio, should I go to Motor Coach Country Club, should I go to Desert Shores, I think this video today, Jim, is going to illustrate uh, just how nice outdoor resorts is here in Indio. Uh, yeah, you can't lose um, in, in any of these parks, Mal. But you know, this is a special place. A lot of people start out here, and uh, there's a lot of really nice. Uh, there's Scott and the boys. There's a lot of nice casitas have been built out here, enclosures, and uh, but this is a great spot to come to. Yeah, there's Scott. There's a guy that has helped us out at a lot of our events over the last several years. Um, now, Jim, there's a really nice build-out. That's another thing that's happening at ORI is uh, new build-outs. There's two of them right here. Yep. Um, there's a nice marathon, and there's that nice build-out. Yeah, beautiful. It's really, really nice. This one as well. There's the boys. Take a look at this. Look at this. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. morning. morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Is that not beautiful? With a marathon in the lot. I like it. I like it. Well, let's go to the back side of uh, the clubhouse and close this sucker down for the for the day. But I think this is one of those examples of. Uh, I, I, li I like shows like this that we get to do down here in the desert because we're showing you a coach that that just came into inventory. A really nice coach 1148 triple slide H3 low miles consignment. And uh, let's jump out here. Jim. We got a minute. Let's walk down the corridor. Yeah, let's do that. It's a great idea. Stay with us, you guys. We're gonna show you a little bit about the ORI clubhouse. It's got the swimming pool. Looks like there's a swim aerobics uh, class going on right now. 
Yeah, let's see if we can. Not a lot there, guys. Hi. Morning. Yeah, lots going on in the pool, Mal. A lot going on in the pool. Yeah. And I hear, of course, the pickleball still going on. And, uh, Bingo. Jim, why don't you show us inside here? Come on in, guys. Might get a little dark, but take a look at the size of this facility. Boy, we've had a lot of parties in here. There's a stage up there and a kitchen, and you can hold three, 400 people or more in here. Big, beautiful fireplace. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Come on through here, we'll go into the breezeway. There's a good example of our video setup, which is uh, just playing a loop constantly, fill up grades, grades of pictures and video activities all the time. Beautiful. Yeah, and a, a big thanks to Phil McCracken who uh, puts that on and it shows a lot of what's going on here at ORI. Greg's up in Nova Scotia. Well, we've got an event tonight, Jim. I'm gonna flip this around so we can, uh, yeah, get the, uh, there we are. Get the video in the background there. There we oh, go. There's a friend of yours. There's Kelly, one of the <laughs> guitar players. That's right. Uh, we've got an event tonight. Yes, we do. And uh, I'm gonna learn how to rope. Not a boy. I actually brought my boots. You have some cowboy boots? I brought some boots. They're not cowboy boots, but they are urban. Cowboy. Ur boy. Urban. Sissy. Sissy. I'm working on my John Travolta. <laughs> I'm working on my John Travolta. All right. Um, yeah. So for those of you who uh, have done like a wagon ride, um, uh, it's basically a covered wagon tour. And it is uh, an event that we're doing for a bunch of uh, people down here in the desert. And uh, so a big thanks to Marathon for sponsoring that event tonight. You bet. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, oh, Cowboy Mal. Otis, my man. Otis, how's your coach? Otis, my man. That's a line from Animal House. I figured it must Filmed have Filmed in Eugene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otis, he knows us. <laughs> Otis, I'm going to be doing some video. We will be doing some video tonight. Oh, so great, look, great. look for a live video tonight. If you are um, going to be following us, look for us to bring you a live video from that event. It's going to be great. All right, everybody, be yourself and do good things. Reach out to us if you're interested in Coach 1148, and um, we'll see you uh, maybe later tonight. Maybe later tonight. That is Cowboy. Cow <laughs> Yeehaw! All right, I'm out of here. <laughs>